What's up? It's your boy E Right Guy. I'm back at it, but hold on real quick. Got these shades as a gift. I like how they look, so I may be wearing these shades on all my videos. But for this video, um made a video the other day about how I got big arms or how I uh, develop my arms and I got a subscriber wanting to know what do I do for abs and really right now I don't really do anything for abs I maybe work my abs once a week but I'm gonna in this video I'm gonna um, pretty much show y'all some of the exercises pretty much two of the exercises that I do to work my abs whenever I feel like doing it but before I even go into that I want to tell you the most important thing about developing abs and if you don't do this then there's no point in even exercising your abs the most important thing about abs is your diet because abs are directly reflective of your body fat percentage if you don't have a low body fat percentage I don't care how many crunches you do I don't care how many sit-ups you do how many planks you do whatever if your diet isn't on point and you're not at a low body fat percentage, you're not going to see your abs. Yeah, you're going to have abs under that fat, but you're never going to see them. So if you're not willing to change your diet, cut all that fast food, all them cold drinks, all that other garbage, candy, if you're not willing to do that and be consistent and disciplined, then you might well just cut this video off right now because you can do all the exercises you want. You're not going to get that six pack. But for the people that's watching this video that wants to make the change, um, I'm going to show you my two bread and butter exercises for abs. It's not really that, and abs aren't really that hard in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? It don't really take that much, but it does take a lot of discipline um, in other areas other than working out. But this piece of equipment I'm about to show y'all right now um, I think it's one of the best pieces of equipment for abs and that is the ab roller and the reason why is because the ab roller works your whole abdominal region it works your upper middle and lower abs at the same time got to pop up on my screen so I definitely recommend the ab roller and when you use the ab roller I pretty much do like four sets of 25 with abs, I found that you really have to be slow with them. Do not, it's not a race with abs. You really want to be slow and you really want to keep your abs contracted. So whenever you do, use the ab roller and you go all the way down. Keep your abs as tight as you can. Keep them contracted, going down and coming up. Going down and coming up. And make sure you put like a towel under your knees so you won't get a carpet burn. Because the ab roller, you will get a carpet burn on your knees. But make sure you keep your abs as tight as possible. And that's with any ab exercise. And go slow. You want to really feel it in your abs. I see a lot of people be cranking them out. That I'm telling you, you got to go slow with these abs. And so... If you, if you haven't invested in an ab roller and you want abs, I really recommend this. This is really going to work your whole abdominal region. And so, my next exercise is nothing, nothing complicated, nothing y'all never heard of, and that's just the crunch. You know what I'm saying? And so, with the crunch, I see some people doing this. Whenever you have your hands over your head, it makes the exercise harder. So I just recommend laying on the floor, doing a crunch, and do it very slow. Keep your abs, you really got to focus on your abs the whole time. Keep that contraction all the way. And also, um, to really work your lower abs, you can do um, leg raises. So lay flat on your back. Have I can't even, let me see if I can. Lay flat on your back. Keep your legs crossed. And just go up and down. Try to hit your, try to hit your knees to your chest, and just go up down with your back flat on the floor, and that's gonna really help your lower abs as well. And I probably recommend doing like four sets of twenty-five for each exercise. Four sets of twenty-five for the ab rollers, four sets of twenty-five for the crunches, and then four sets of twenty-five for 
the um the reverse crown. I don't even know what it's called, but it's with your back uh flat on the ground and you just have your legs crossed and you bring you try to bring it up to your chest and then bring it down. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry with that that last exercise, y'all don't understand it, but it's hard for me to to really um demonstrate because of the lighting in my house and I don't have a camera man. But those are the three things, three exercises that I use for abs. But most importantly, it's about your diet. If your diet is on point, you really don't even have to work your abs. And also just doing uh, cardio. You don't even have to do cardio. Just being, just having a consistent workout, working your upper and lower body. Just staying lean. That's the best thing you can do for abs. So like the video. If you want any other suggestions on other body parts, just let me know. I'm trying to start cranking these video out, videos out every day. And I'm sorry with the quality. I'm using my webcam, but this is the easiest way I can make videos. Because my HD camera, I'll record like five videos and then when I put them on my computer, they're not there. And so that's why I haven't been putting out videos because I already made this video twice on that camera and both times they, they got deleted some kind of way. So holla at your boy. Let me know if you like the glasses. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Holla at your boy.